Do you understand global colours? It's pretty simple, but if you've set the colours in your theme, and then you've set the global colours in Elemental, there may be times when they conflict, and the colours you're seeing on your screen don't match the Elemental global colour palette, and you will be pulling your hair out. Let's sort that out right now. Okay, let's start with beginning. Let's start with your theme. So if you were to go to appearance when you're in WordPress, your dashboard, and you go to themes, go to customize, and what you can do here is you can set the global colors. Now I'll be absolutely honest with you, you do not need to set any global colors here, okay, whatsoever. We're using Elementor, that is our page builder. But a lot of people make this mistake. They go here, they go to go global, they go to colors, and they start setting their colors. The text color, the theme color, the link color, all these options, the background color, they start doing all of that here. And I thoroughly recommend you do not do that, okay? Do it all within Elemental. Right, so let's just scratch this off right now. Do not do your color setting over here, right? Come out of that. What you need to do is go into Elemental. But before you do that, go to Elemental, go to Settings, and make sure these two boxes are unchecked, unticked, not filled in, blank. Because if they are ticked, what you are telling the system is override or disable whatever I set in Elemental with the theme. So I've got Astro theme. Let's say next week Astro will do an update and it automatically updates the theme, okay? Let's say they've done something behind the scenes, it will knock out what I've done in Elemental, which is so frustrating when you have a website that's live and you go to it one day and the color scheme is like, what the heck is going on here? I did not have red on my site. Where's this appeared from? So watch out for that. Make sure they're unticked. Okay, you with me? Good. Then you go into Elemental, and what you want to do is go to the hamburger to access your settings. Then go to site settings. Now you can set your global colors. And this is where you put in your color palette. Decide your color scheme, your primary, your secondary, your text. You can add a color in. You know, you might go, oh, let's just go for, oh, I want to go for this color here. There we go. Not only that, you can actually rename it as well. So you might say buttons. So I now know that that setting is for buttons. And there's a reason I sometimes do this, okay? I haven't done it here, but there's a reason I do this. Because I might then decide I'm gonna have exactly the same color. Let's just get the, um, the hex code for that one. Let's just put it in, there we go. And I'm gonna call this one, uh, the first one we'll call buttons. And the second one we will call uh, background, background whatever. Oh, this is a rubbish example, background, okay? So I've got the same color. And then my client or I might go, actually for the buttons we want a black color. I now know that when I go over here and I change this to be that color, it will do it for the buttons. But if you just put in a that neon pink color and you change it, and that color was used for your buttons and your background and for something else and your text, they will all change as well. So you can either be very methodical and particular, or you can just have one color and then work around it as you want. But I just wanted to get that over to you. What you can also do is when you go over to typography, this is where you can also start to decide what is the color of my links. So my links at the moment are a white color because of the black background or the dark background I'm using in some places, that's fine for me. I may though decide actually I want all of my links to be uh, that reddish color there as well. So you can set your global colors here. Let's just put that back to white or it messes up my website. Okay, cool. And then what you do is just click update. And now when you're working on your website, you're now gonna be picking the color palette that you put within Elemental. So what I'm trying to get across is, do not do it in your theme. If you are going to use the Astra theme or any other theme out there, 
and you're using one of their templates that's been built with Astra in whatever way that it's been done, or Ocean, or whatever, I, I mean, any theme out there, and you're not going to use Elementor, fine, do it over there. But if you're going to use Elementor, do it here. Otherwise, what is the point of using the Elemental page builder? I hope that helps and clarifies why some people have gone and set their color scheme in a theme or something, done it in Elemental as well, and then they're seeing a bit of conflict with what they see on the screen. Look, I hope that works for you and I hope that helps clarify things. Thumbs up, you know, give us a like, subscribe, and we'll see you soon.